Hello friends, welcome to Jobmi Tech Solutions. Today we are going to learn how to create txt files using Java in NetBeans. This lesson will be on two parts. I am doing first part is to write txt file and our second part will be on how to read txt file. So guys, let's create a project and skip create main class. Create package before creating new class. Now create jframe form class so this will be our main class. Now let's design a layout. As you can see, I am using simple layout which contains two buttons, one for open, other is for to save, and a text area to read or write text file. Here I created a customized file filter which has two constructors, one is extension and other one is description. I don't need throw exception because I am going to use return to get values. I used if condition to check whether it picked directory or file and if it selected a file then I am returning a file name with its extension. In description, I am returning description including string format. So guys, our file type filter class is ready. Now let's work with save button action to browse file chooser. To save file, I am using jfilechooser component which is very useful in Java. I used home.user. So if we call file chooser, it will stay in user documents directory. Let's set file chooser title. Now here I am going to set file filter 
and I used my custom file type filter. I need txt file to be saved so in extension I type txt and in description I just write text file only. I am showing file chooser inside int. And I need to check if result returns approved option. Now here I am going to store my text area content into the string as file content. Let's store file chooser selected file into file so later we'll use its result into file writer to write file. Here I'm using try catch exception. If file fails to save or any permission problem, so it will catch the problem and show us a message. Let's make new file writer and put files value inside its constructor using file to save.getPath method. Now use file writer dot write and put file content in its constructor to write file. After that use flush to remove cached file. And now close file writer to save process memory. Now let's try to run program. My system drive doesn't allow external programs to write files on it so you can see it cut exception and shown the message. I am going to use another drive to save my file. Now let's open to see if file really created by program in text is stored to the file. As you can see file has created So guys everything is working fine, that's all for today. This video is the first part of read and write txt file in java using NetBeans. I'll be back very soon with next part. Until you guys should watch my other videos, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. If you are new or haven't subscribed to my channel then please go to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit on bell icon for to get latest videos notification. 
थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग